Good morning. Good morning. From the Republic of Ireland. Yes, we've left Northern Ireland. Yeah. We were trying to park in Armagh. Yeah. Armagh, but the park for night were no good. And we were just getting fed up of looking for somewhere. <laughs> we found this place. It says it's only 25 minutes away from Armagh. Uh, let's go ahead for that yeah. because I saw this. It wasn't planned at all. Actual motorhome stops in a car park on Park for Night. Thought that looks ideal, so we'll try and get there. It's a small town. Lovely little town. With lots to offer. Castle Blaney. That's B L A Y N E Y. Castle Blaney, all one word. And yeah, very nice. So this is reserved especially for motorhomes. There is. A nice little town centre, and what is the Mazzy? Where are we going? <laughs> a heritage trail, Mazzy. Oh, why are you going round in circles? I just thought it would be very cinematic. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're off on a heritage trail. <laughs> so come with us. He's not impressed. I forgot my mask. Just in case, you never know. Wiley's gone to get me mask. Look what I've just spotted. Oh, I don't know if you're going to see it because the sun's on it properly. Um, oh my God, it's so good. It's been carved really lovely. I'm guessing that's like a pike. Owls. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it has actually got writing. Brian, born guardian, guardian of the forest. What's this all about? It's called the nest. The nest? It does look like a nest. Did you think so? I did. But with musical notes around it. Yeah, it's really nice. We haven't done a proper walk around yet. Uh, we were parked there all yesterday. It threw it down yesterday, so we're parked down there. Huge lake here, we didn't even know it was here. No, be careful. <laughs> Tripping over people's rubbish. Uh, right, a sign says the Heritage Trail, you can go down this way. It's like a loop to walk, so it doesn't yeah. matter where you start from. Uh, really don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. Still a bit lost, aren't we? Yeah, one bit of advice, when you're going on the Heritage Trail and you see the big board and it shows you a map of where to <laughs> go and what's where, take a picture of it. We didn't. Yeah. We're a bit lost. Um, look at that bar and restaurant there. Yeah, this is the first exciting thing I've seen. It's amazing, I love it. It's short. Bar well, obviously. <laughs> Silly. How gorgeous is that though? What a building that would have been back in the day. Bar and restaurant. <laughs> a little confused. Yeah, there's this Hope Castle. Now I'm guessing it looks like that, but what's this? That says Hope Castle as well, and that looks like it could be the building behind us. The yeah. bar and restaurant. Maybe that was it. Not sure. Why the sign's pointing there? I'd expect it to be over there, but I can't see a castle. Interesting story about Hope Castle though. Yeah. It was owned by the Hope family. Yeah. And they, the nephew, I believe it was, of the guy who owned this castle, the nephew, was in possession at one point of one of, if not the, biggest diamond ever found in the world. Oh wow! It came from India. You can read about it there, do you want to show them that, Mazzy? Oh yeah! Uh, it tells you it passed from and to, and this is the story. Oh, that must be it there, look. It is a beauty. Doesn't the Queen own that now, though? No. I think she does. No. It's a Smithsonian Institution. That's where you can view it if you want to go there. Oh, okay. Don't know where that is, but there it is. So here we are at the start of the Heritage Trail. Oh, should we start this again? <laughs> Just a big loop. Oh. Heritage Trail, okay. Problem is, you see, there's no, nowhere on the sign saying where you are. We think we're here. Um, but I don't really get the old route. Town Heritage Trail. Well, this is where we must have walked then, just now. Uh, Hope Castle. Yeah. 
So we've just done that. So we have done some of the heritage trail. But we didn't really... <laughs> we've done it right, Mazzy. <laughs> yeah, but how come we're at the beginning again? <laughs> well, we've got to go through the gates, turn right, and then left up Main Street. So we're going into town? Well, there's not... None of them, to be honest, look like heritage -y things. You've got a couple of things up there. You've got a famine graveyard and workhouse down there. Maybe we could walk all the way up West Street and New Street. What do you think? <laughs> Patrick Moan. Um, I don't know the story, I'll be honest, but it's someone who died in a bombing. Um, he was killed and all those injured in the Castle Blaney bombing on the 7th of March 1976. Bless him. And there's lots of little bits of clocks here, watches. I don't know if he was a watchmaker or what, but uh, yeah, they've remembered him. As far as the heritage trail's concerned, it's just turned into a complete disaster. We've ended up just walking through the high street yeah. of Castle Blaney. Um, Some lovely old pictures here left behind us. Yeah, I don't know, I like the town, it's got... It is a lovely town, yeah. It's got such a lovely park where we parked, a lovely lake, a proper high street. The thing I can't get my head around is we've passed four chemists <laughs> yeah. within 40 metres. Loads of them. Maz has used two of them. <laughs> <laughs> she has. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going because, I don't know, I'm sure that we're going to come across something at some point, Mazzy. Well, I do see a candy store. Candy store? <laughs> yeah. Well, we haven't got any money now. <laughs> I've spent it all. We need oh, a cash machine. Oh, and over there. Look, you, you'd like that. Uh, <laughs> you tell them, Mazzy. Go on, you have a go It's a flop. Tell them. It's this a flop. This trail is a flop. We go round in circles. This is the railway station, but there's nothing to see whatsoever apart from read the board. Yeah. I'm guessing there used to be a railway station somewhere behind there, which you can't get into or tour or see anything. And apparently then the rest of the trail was up the high street we just walked up, but we didn't see anything well, insignificant, did we? There is the workhouse and famine graveyard up here somewhere. Yeah. We're going to keep going. We're not giving up yet. No. <laughs> but this is his last option for something good. <laughs> Getting annoyed now. Uh, this must be the old workhouse here. Big deal. Well, we don't Big know for deal. sure. It doesn't say. No, we're still not convinced of that. Um, which is now a hospital. And there is a sign saying the famine graveyard is behind it. So we're having a quick look. I don't know, it's weird. I don't feel we're allowed down here. I do. Have we come down here for nothing then? <laughs> yeah. We've left van for nothing, Mazzy. <laughs> the what game's a waste locked. of time. What a waste of a walk. Yeah. We don't even know where the famine graveyard is. It points behind here somewhere. No, famine garden. Famine graveyard. Oh, I thought I said garden. No, it's a famine graveyard. <sighs> I don't know. Let's just quit it. Let's just quit it. Go back into town and keep walking back towards the van. Uh-huh. I've had enough. I agree. John McGough. John McGough. Have you heard of him? Have you not heard of the runner McGough? Oh, let me just think. No. <laughs> Here he is, Mazzy. There's a picture of him. Oh, fantastic. He did loads of stuff, he won the Irish Mile. He was the Irish Mile champion in 1907. He did loads of stuff. Apparently, he passed through here a few times. He was Scottish. Look. The first Irish man to become a trainer with Manchester United. Oh, excuse me, I was just sneezing. What did you just read? First Irish man to become a trainer with Manchester... Yep, absolute scumbag. Can't believe... <laughs> can't believe they're trying to make out he's a good person. And look, look at this look, famine garden. Who's right? Who's right? I am! Do I win? Well, you're not right because there was nothing there. Yeah, but it was... Yeah, no, I win! I know what you're saying. like the garder all of a sudden, do ya? He's alright, isn't he? He's good, he's nice. Who is it? It's my Uncle John. <laughs> your Uncle John. Hi, John, you're right. My mum will be watching this thing. God, it does look like your Uncle John when he was younger. <laughs> Spitting image of Uncle John. Um, I don't know who it is. 
I forgot who he is, but he looks he's, hard. He's famous, isn't he? He's huge, isn't he? It's me Uncle John. Me, me Uncle John were a big guy. He looks like me Uncle John. We'll just say it's Uncle John then, shall we? Uncle John, if anyone can tell us who it is really, uh, please let us know. But it does look like me Uncle John. That's the end of Castle Blaney. We're not knocking the place, we love no, it. No, it's it a is really lovely. nice place. Um, it's just the Heritage Trail's a bit of a letdown. Well, it was very a very big. Well signed, was it? <laughs> very big letdown. Yeah. Um, but as a, a town, it's a very nice place to come. Yeah. And we would highly recommend it. As I say, there's a beautiful parking spot here. We've had no trouble. No, nope, been here two nights. Very, very quiet. Yeah. Um, in the night. Through the day, there's hardly anyone uses this car park, to be honest. So yeah, we're going to move on. I've got another park up, I think it's about half an hour away, which is in a harbour. Ooh. Back on the coast. Yay! Uh, I don't think it'll be anything beautiful, don't get too excited. I like harbours. That'll be nice. At least we can try and float, because this, this isn't going well today. It's not going well at all, no. <laughs> Well reminded, Mazzy. Yeah. I have got a couple of thank yous I want to get put in this video. Okay. Um, Sean C. Thank you, Sean. Steph Kelly. Thank you, Steph. And R H. Thank you, R H. Oh, are you all so wonderful? Thank you, people. <laughs> Bless you. Um, one new patron there, I think. Sean oh. C. I think he's become a patron. Thank you, guys, very, very, very much. Very much. We're around. <laughs> I was hoping that there would be at least one other motorhome or van here. Because on Google Maps there were quite a lot, but there's none here at the moment. Sorry, I don't understand. I'm not talking to you. What's she on about? <laughs> no idea. She's always interfering. She's isn't in, she? she's sticking her nose in where it wanted. Anna Gasson Port, can you see that, Mazzy? Not really, no, there's a lot of reflection. Okay. Yeah. Anagasan Port. There is a site of a Viking settlement, a national monument, just over the bridge. Yeah, there's a little and bridge. And to that there. side. Um, apparently, there's nothing to see whatsoever, but Vikings did settle there once upon <laughs> a time. Apart from that, there is nothing here whatsoever. I'll take them out in a minute. But um, yeah, I was going to say, so I've been in contact with Dan from Go European this morning. All right, yeah. As we were That's due... where we got us more to home from, yeah. Yeah, as we were due to get um, some new lights fitted and the fix fixed. But um, I've asked for all the parts to be sent to my address now, so we're going to get all the parts and it'll give you a job when we get... Has he replied? Yeah, he just replied just all now. Right. He said, that's fine, that's absolutely fine. So he's so... going to send all the parts to your house... To new and lights. And I'm going to deal with it, yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't know about the fridge. I need no. a new gorilla tape, Mazzy. I don't know about the fridge because you've got to have gas qualifications and the only gas you're good at, um, we can't discuss on here. I'm going to get some more gorilla tape and do all them jobs. I can't wait. I'm not sure if this is a river or the sea. Honey? River. River? Okay, well then that don't make sense if that's the river because then look, it goes out to the sea. Okay. Well, here's our little place. As you can see, this is flowing really, really fast. Come on then, let's have an island map update. So, I should have really got this ready before I came on to the camera, shouldn't I? <laughs> ah, ma, that's where we tried to park the other day. It wasn't suitable. So we came down to Castle Blaney. That's where we parked last night. So this is Republic and that's Northern. Is that right? That's is that correct? correct, yeah. 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 Uh, from Castle Blaney we have now come down towards this area somewhere. Um, we're going over here in the next couple of days and then we need to avoid the Earl of County Dublin because uh, it's on a, a bit of a lockdown. Yeah, County Dublin starts from here babe. Yeah, starts there and it's quite a big area really. And the problem is, if you can see on this map, see these roads at the side? None of them go down here. So we're going to have to go right around here, um, which is probably right around here to miss it out. And then 
pick it up near Wicklow because there's a few good museums there we need to go to. So yeah, we're going like that. I think we're on to something. I think we're getting it. Yeah, yeah. We have just been discussing anyway. We, we have to start being selective now, haven't we? We want to choose some really good locations before the season ends and before... Oh, there's a huge duck there. <laughs> He's just gone under the water. A duck? Yeah. Yeah, the season's ending, so a lot of museums are going to be closing, all the top spots yeah. are going to be closing. And the reason why we have to avoid the Dublin area is because of lockdown. And, um, yeah, we'd like to get some good sights in, really, wouldn't we? The we best, certainly would. The best ones that we can pick. Yes. <laughs> Got a good one tomorrow, though. Excellent one tomorrow. Yes. I've had a good idea, Mazzy. What? Just for video. Yeah? Let's have a video of you running across there. From that boat to the other side and then back up here. Go on, just for a laugh. It'll be brilliant. <laughs> Let's see how fast you can do it. Go on. No. Oh, go on. No, not today. Tomorrow. <laughs> All right, tomorrow. Definitely, yeah? Oh, oh, come on. Just for video. It'll be a laugh. All right, yeah. Interesting about um, crab pots. I don't know why, I just find them really interesting. Especially when they're lobster pots. Oh, lobster pots! I don't know, they're quite artistic. Anyway, we've just come out and it's literally just started to come down. We were going to take you on a little tour, weren't we? We were, but I'm not enjoying it, Mazzy. You know. It, honestly, today it's just got bitter. We woke up this morning, it was three degrees, which is the first time it's got close to freezing. Yeah. It's uh, not been nice. And that's it. That's the end of summer, I think. Should we finish this vlog off tomorrow? <laughs> I think we're going to have to. I'm, we're sorry that we haven't given you a video for a couple of days, guys, but... Uh, We've had no signal. It's not been great. I've stupidly convinced Dan to continue for another few minutes. <laughs> we're going to go and see the spike in place. There's nothing to see. There is a sign over here. Oh, this is nice. I like that. Yeah, but it's not about seeing stuff all the time. This is a national monument. Viking settlement. Back in the day. <laughs> but there's absolutely nothing to see. How about up that hill? Or have we got to go up the hill? No, there's nothing on the hill. It's just more grass. <laughs> I've already looked into it. It's a lovely bridge. Yeah, it is. It's got history. But apart from that, there's just nothing to see here. Well, there's nothing in the town at all, is there? Village, whatever. I think want. one thing we're doing wrong is we're just trying to make a video just for the sake of making a video. <laughs> you can smell your yummy dinner. Is he still there? Oh. There's a little dog what wants to come in and be our pet. <laughs> and Mazzy's just shut door in his face. I've shut the door because I don't want your dinner getting cold. So it's make do today, isn't it? Make do? Yeah. Yeah, not the best meal in the world, is it? Uh, <laughs> make do. No, this is lovely, Mazzy. This is perfect, apart from knife and fork situation. Oh, yeah, sorry, let me get those. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So, we've got ham toasties, because we didn't have cheese. <laughs> well, it started out, at the beginning of the day, we decided you were just going to have toast. Yeah. I was going to have ham, sandwich. ham sandwiches. But we got here and it was cold, so I said, I think I'd like something warm. Yeah. So you've come up with this. Yeah. Yesterday's chips. Yeah. Yesterday's... This is like one of them all-day breakfasts, but these are gorgeous. I'd the actual the burgers. From they're lovely. They feel a bit cold. Are they? Yeah, they're not warm. Oh, should I warm them up properly? It's all right. They're acceptable. And some ham in in toast. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy. This will do nicely. You can see the roof of our van from here. It's not something we can see every day, is it, Mazzy? No, it's quite <laughs> interesting, isn't it? In a strange way. We've no idea what any of them blocks no. are on top, but hey. <laughs> We are now at the Jumping Church. Mazzy, do you want to show them what we mean by the Jumping Church? Well, I don't really know. We've just got here. Yeah, but what did the church do, Mazzy? What well, did it do? Apparently it jumped. Which way did it jump? <laughs> that way. 
way? No, other way. Really? Show, show them how it jumped. No, nothing. <laughs> no. no, it went like that. It was facing this way and it went three foot. Three foot. Why? Let me show you the jump first. Come on. Here is the church wall. Here is the church's foundation. Why isn't the wall on the foundation, I hear you asking? Well, local legend says that there was someone who was unholy, shall we say, um, buried inside the church and the church wasn't happy. So one night the church decided to jump three foot that way so that the body of the unholy person was outside the church. That's local legend, that's what they reckon happened. So if that's the case, where yeah. is this body? It'll Where's be underneath grave? here somewhere. Oh, okay. It could have been a long time ago. This church is from about 800 years old. Um, it's on the lean a bit, isn't it? <laughs> it is on the lean. But another thing they're trying to say, I think it was 1715, there was a big storm. Yeah. And they reckon the storm blew the wall off the foundation, but it didn't fall down. I can't really believe any of them two stories, but it is fascinating. Why isn't the wall on the wall? Yeah. It actually tells you the story up here. Yeah, storm in 1750. God, I know everything, me, don't I? 1715, I was bang on. There you are, fill your boots. We'll have a wander around. But what I was just going to say is if you look as well, it's tilted that way, isn't it? So if I have the camera like that, it's straight. Do you yeah, know what I mean? The old things like Been twisted. falling towards me. Yeah. Gosh, it's bright today. <laughs> it's really bright. It's a beautiful morning. It is. Very cold though. Just this last couple of days it's got really cold. Down to the reckon freezing last night. Not really much else to say as far as the history of the place. It's just a very interesting story, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. But while we're here, we'll have a quick look around. There's a lot of very old grave markers. I wouldn't even call them stones. A few stones. So this video, what day is it? It's going up on Saturday. It's Friday today, is it? No. No? This is going up on Saturday. Uh, we're now going to go to a museum after this place, so oh, yeah. don't miss that video. That'll be the next video on Monday, probably. And fingers crossed we'll still have a live video for you tomorrow with it being Sunday. Hopefully, if we get a signal if this we time. Can get a signal. Yeah. This is one of the only graves I can make out, 1758. That's old, isn't it? And it's is this meant to yeah. be June? I'm guessing June, yes. There's some, yeah, very strange uh, letters on here. Look at this, the N. That's an N. Really weird N. Dondi, Mary Dondi. Or is it a W? Dowd, Dowd. It's a W, look, because that says wife. What a strange W. You've got bits of the church top just falling in the middle here, look. Look at these pieces. It's all going to ruin. That's got a little pattern on it. Found an older one right inside the church, 1688. Uh, 16. 88 by the look of it. Yeah, 1688. I think it's for someone called William Olson. Would you just step to one side, please, Mazzy? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I think it's William Olson. Orson. Uh, but look at the fantastic skull and crossbones there. Look at the facial features on the skull. It's like something someone would doodle. It's like an alien, actually, if you look at the head. More like an alien than a skull. Mm, never seen an alien, so I wouldn't know. So a very short video for you today. Yeah, um, sorry, guys. <laughs> we've really yeah. struggled with this one. I think this is over three days. Yeah. Um, we've just been going to the wrong places, struggling with park-ups, but I think we're on to something now. It's not like a trying. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> uh, we're on to something now. We're off to a museum now, a war museum. So don't Military. miss that. Military. It's a war yeah. museum. Uh, that'll be up on, as I say, on Monday or tomorrow. We'll see what his reception's like, but uh, we don't want to mix these two videos together. So we'll leave yeah. it there. Thank you for joining. Thank you. And bear with us, some cracking, cracking things coming up.
Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.